Hey, Brian from Garage Mahal. Today we have the Terra Cafe Supermatic Espresso Machine. It's the model TK2, or officially known as the TK02. Anyway, let's open it up, see what's inside, and we'll set it up and see how it works. Oh, give me kind of a, this is the size box, and it is every bit of probably 40 pounds. So it may be a two-person lift, depending on uh, who you are. So let's open the top. So just give you an idea what that. This is Welcome Home TK02. It's the top box. And then this is the inner box. And it has these two little clips here. You basically, just squeeze and remove. One on the other side. Squeeze and remove. And then I think this should lift right off the top. A lot of packing foam, so it's very well packed. And this is your TK-02 quick start guide. This is your box of accessories, because this has a box of accessories. So it has a little, little container with the little hose on it. Welcome to your TK02. And it looks like that box is empty. And then in here we have your power cord. And on the bottom of that, it looks like we have a, as I drop on the floor, your one scoop only. That's pretty cool. Looks like it's, uh, it's wood. Pretty neat. Let's remove this packing foam. That looks like it's another little piece of packing. Kind of remove this out of the plastic here. Looks like there's a little finger hole on this side. Carefully lift that up and out of the box. That's the box bottom. And then it looks like we have some good rubber feet on there because it's not moving very well. And you got some packing tape on here on this top portion. This is where your grounds and stuff. comes out. And this tray basically looks like it runs the whole length of the machine. Alright, to give you an idea, let's put this tray back in. So if you inquire about counter space, so it's basically 17 and a half inches long. And wide is basically 10, almost 10 and a half, 
10 and a half inches wide. And then height wise, we're talking 14 inches high. All right, let's put it on the counter, plug it in. And the plug is back there. And I think we're going to, there's some more packing. It's basically kind of like protect it from getting all scratched up there. All right, let's put it on the counter, stay tuned. Okay, so this is the filter and they say to hold it under running water for 30 seconds, so we'll time that. All right, that's about 30 seconds. Okay, and then we basically turn this upside down, and then we want to put it in there. Just kind of like twist it and you kind of feel it bottom out. Okay. Okay, and now we're gonna fill it with water, and that is the max line that you can see right there. So we're gonna fill this up, so it'll take a little bit, so stay tuned. Okay, so we are just about full, so we'll stop it right there. Okay, and then carefully put it back in, as the water's gonna be jumping all over the place, and I think push it nice and flush there. We'll close that door. Okay, so that's where the plug is plugged in. That's a power switch. Make sure you have it plugged in. And then you want to turn on a power switch here. And then that will start the welcome process. And then basically we'll hit begin. And let's take that sticker off there. Perfect, okay. So remove drip tray as the drip tray collects water over time will alert you when it's time to empty it. So obviously that's your drip tray. So we'll hit next. Silk water filter, we already did that process. Fill water tank, we also did that process and your water tank is right here on the side. Add coffee, so we are gonna add coffee to the back. Okay, so you open this lid, and we're going to add a cup of coffee beans into the back. Put that cover back on, and it's basically, it doesn't have a hinge or anything, just kind of like sits on top of there. Okay, we'll hit next. Get the app, so we'll download the app. So that's for your iPhone, or that is for your Android. Okay, then after you set up the app and you go through your warranty process, you're going to be hooking up to Wi-Fi. Just hit next. And it says press and hold to start up. So it's going through the setup and the priming process. And while it's going through this process, make sure that you keep your hands away from the machine just because it is warning you, careful, there will be some hot water and steam. So.
So it's starting its uh, initial priming and steaming process. Okay, so is you ready to brew? So let's go. And then we are gonna make our selection so you have the menu. All right, so we're gonna make an espresso. So we're gonna put the glass there and then pull this down and try to get that better centered than that. We're gonna hit espresso. Okay, so that is your single shot of espresso. So pretty neat. We'll let that cool down a little bit and then we'll uh, take a sip. Okay, and then this came up initially, so we're gonna hit do it now and it says update is available. So we're gonna let it update its firmware. All right, so we let that cool down a little bit, and we're still uh, we're still updating. So, oh, it's good. That's a deep taste. Very good. Very well layered. All right, let's finish up the uh, firmware update. Okay, so that is basically done with the firmware update. So I guess it's actually going through the reset process. So obviously you see that burst of steam. Just let it do its function and be careful. So it looks like it goes through the original setup process that it initially did after the firmware is completely loaded. So again, be patient and, and be careful. Okay, so next we are going to set up the, the milk container. And make sure you get us a pretty good rinse beforehand. Just get the manufacturing process off. And we're going to add a cup of milk. And then this is going to be the lid. And then this is your silicone hose. So it goes in this hole right here. And then what you want to do is you want to twist it and push. And that will help feed that hose through. go and again just kind of like twists and push and then you want to set your depth up so you want to kind of put it on the side so we're going to go there a little bit more so it kind of like curls up on the bottom so we get all the milk and then we're going to put the lid on and then all right and then you want to have this hose pointing out this way and we just push up on that and you'll kind of like feel it go into its little spot We'll put our milk container here on the edge. Kind of like that. And then we'll put our next cup there. Okay, we're going to select latte.
all done. So we'll let that cool down for a little bit. We'll take a quick sip. We'll be right back. And the great thing about this is you can disconnect this. And then you have a little, little magnet on top to hold that in place. And then you can put this back in your fridge and save it and use it the next time you're ready to make a latte. All right, let's check this out. That's a great tasting latte. Okay. Okay, up in this corner you have that little, uh, kind of like a hammer. It's, well, this one's actually more like a sandwich. So you push on that, and then this is going to give you all your different selections that you can go into. Like you can go into drink settings and everything. So you can go back out so there is a lot to go over in this machine definitely explore it test the different drinks out that you can make but that's uh I like your overview of that anyway uh... okay and to clean this straw out after you're done using it obviously fish it out of the container then you want to go to here cleaning and then we are going to rinse milk system Run cycle. And make sure that's securely in there because it's going to run through some uh, with some hot water. And then you can see how it rinses right through. And then that is basically done. So just be careful, but you want to undo this again, and then just like hold it up and let it rinse and drip out the remaining water, and then you are uh, you're good to go. Anyway, uh, right from Garage Mahal. Thanks for watching, and uh, enjoy your TerraCraft 2. Be safe out there.